Welcome everyone. In this session, we are going to talk about what is a hypervisor. Uh, guys, uh, a hypervisor is a computer software or firmware or hardware that creates and runs virtual machines. A computer on which a hypervisor runs one or more virtual machine is called a host machine. And each virtual machine is called a guest machine. The hypervisor presents the guest operating systems with a virtual operating platform and manages the execution of the guest operating system. As I mentioned, uh, virtual machine is called guest machine, but that is not a fixed term. Depending upon your virtualization provider, they use different terminologies. In this session, we are going to talk about KVM only. So our main focus is on KVM. But for example, uh, Oracle, they call their virtualization uh, platform LDOMs. And uh, the guest machine is called guest LDOM. Oracle got other virtualization technology, which is uh, zones or containers. So they call uh, the main system, the host system as a global zone, the virtual system as non-global zone. Similar, if I have to give example of uh, IBM. So IBM uh, called their platform uh, Alpa, which is logical partitions. So depending upon your hardware provider or virtualization technology provider, the terms may be interchanged. But that's easy to understand uh, whatever hardware provider you got. Guys, uh, mainly there are two types of hypervisor. In type one category, we got uh, hypervisor, which are native or bare metal. They run directly on host hardware to control the hardware and to manage the guest operating system. If I have to give example, it's a uh, Zen, Oracle or Sun LDOMs, IBM LPARs, Hyper-V, VMware ESXi. Basically, uh, these hypervisors are integrated uh, or very closely integrated with the hardware. The type 2 hypervisor, they abstract guest operating system from the host operating system. Guest VMs run as a hypervisor process on the host. For example, VMware Workstation, VMware Player, Virtual Box. If I have to give a little bit more detail uh, so you guys can understand the difference between type 1 and type 2 hypervisor. In type 1 category, if I pick uh, Oracle or Sun LDOM, so basically what happens, the hardware, it got hypervisor embedded and uh, hypervisor is capable to divide hardware into logical partitions or logical domains. So logically you assign uh, these many CPUs or this much memory will go to the guest domain. The domain is basically a virtual machine, you can say. And uh, all the controlling happens at hypervisor level, which is basically embedded or integrated with the hardware. In type two example, let's take example of VMware Workstation. So in your home, you may go to a laptop or a physical system on which you got Windows or Linux installed. On that OS layer, you got VMware Workstation installed and you got some VMs which are running on your VMware Workstation. You can see there is a additional layer of operating system of your laptop or your PC, which is basically abstract. And your guest operating system, that's totally independent uh, from your uh, base or host operating system. So that's the way. This is type two hypervisor example. You may be wondering why I haven't listed KVM here, whether KVM is type one or type two, that I'm going to cover in next slide after giving you a bit introduction to KVM so you understand uh, it in more detail. That's it in this session, guys. Thank you.